Today's vlog is a Mother's Day vlog, and so I wanted to take just a second and say thank you to all of the mothers and mother figures. Thank you for serving the Lord and your families in your home and in your churches and in your community. We're so thankful for you and for all that you do. I'm so thankful for my mother, and I'm also thankful to be able to be mother to my children. Our Mother's Day weekend was so fun, and I truly enjoyed it, and I'm excited to share it with you all. I also wanted to take a second before we get into the video and thank Love Every for sending these boxes to my two little boys. They do these subscription boxes for ages 0 to about 4 years old and it's Montessori style toys. We always love our Love Every toys and the kids are always so excited when the boxes come. Wyatt has been loving this sink here. It has a battery powered motor that circulates the water and he sits and plays and washes his little dishes. Love Every puts all the thought into these toys and these subscription boxes for you and age appropriate toys, developmentally appropriate toys and it always works out perfect and the boys love playing with them. The boxes that we received this time had the sink in it and a little matching game that you'll see in just a minute. Fletcher's box had some little rattles and different cards and things that he could look at and they've had so much fun with them like i said you'll see a little bit more of this later on in the video but i wanted to take a second and say thank you to love every for sending these there will be a link down in the description box so if you want to check these out you can i highly recommend that you do this is that little matching game that i was talking about and i love watching Wyatt play with it he gets so excited when he matches the colors he clap his little hands and get so excited and y'all not only do the little kids get excited when these boxes come i get excited and so do the big kids Everybody sits around in the floor and gets excited to open up the boxes and see what all is in them. Why it came with this little travel art case this time too that we really enjoyed and he did too. He liked to pull all the colors out and make his creations and that'll be good to take in the car with us. Thank you again to Love Every for sending these boxes to my boys and we're going to go ahead and get into this vlog. I hope y'all enjoy it. Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I'm Tiffany. This is our small town life. Welcome to our weekend. It is Mother's Day weekend, and I wanted to bring you along. We have some fun things planned. I'm actually about to head out and go get some things that I need to finish up the strawberry bed for my mom. We're doing that for her for Mother's Day, and so we're going to work on that. This morning, Judson's out working in the yard a little bit already, cutting grass and doing some different things. I need to get out in the garden. It rained a few days, and so everything, the plants are looking great, but the weeds are trying to come up too. <laughs> so I'm gonna go take care of that today. Uh, tonight, we're gonna go to a fun restaurant with Justin's mom for Mother's Day. So I wanted to bring you along for that, and then I guess we'll go into tomorrow. My request for tomorrow was that we grill some chicken, and so that's, that's in the plans for tomorrow. I just got some bread in the oven, some sourdough bread, and so I really need to wait on that to come out before I leave. And Fletcher is ready for a nap. So I may get him to sleep, wait on my bread to get done, and then we can go get what we need for the strawberry bed. I got some clothes I could be folding too. to go ahead and go to the co-op and try to get back before the bread was done but I thought I might be pushing it so I decided to wait the bread's almost done I just checked it a few minutes ago and it looks good it's almost done so we're gonna wait on that and then we'll go to the co-op I wanted to tell y'all thank you so much for all of your sweet sweet words and comments and your love on my last video where Papa was talking to you about his garden and showing that off to you uh, Y'all are all so very, very sweet and so very kind. I'm going to make sure he gets to hear all of your sweet comments. Thank y'all.
put it in the bucket. Put it right here. You want to take it and dump it for the chickens? got what what do you have hey what do you have can mama have them okay you're gonna take them to dad good job are these the ones that are up in the nest box yeah she was sitting on It's a little while later. We got ourselves cleaned up. Where are we at? What town is this? Uh, Sardis, Alabama. Boaz, really. Boaz. We came to a restaurant. We come, we, we've been here once before. Mm -hmm. The kids enjoyed it, and it's what Justin's mama wanted to do for Mother's Day. It's called Bama Bucks. They've got some like wild game type things on the menu. Yep. Some animals that you can walk around and see. I think they call themselves a wildlife sanctuary. So that's what we're doing. They're pretty crowded, but yeah. it's Mother's Day weekend, so <laughs> kind of expected it. Buddy, that ain't been open. Dinner was delicious, and we decided while we were here in the area, we would come to. Can you see it? <laughs> Disney Royal King. See what it's got. You have a blue mouth. Somebody had blue ice cream. Or pepper. Yeah. 
They have so many chickens. There's chickens, chickens, and more chickens. Look at these. How cute. Sunday y'all and happy Mother's Day. It is a beautiful day today. The sun is shining. Beautiful blue skies. We're at church. Um, I brought some eggs. I actually had to run back home and get them to give to some people here at church. I already had them in the refrigerator so I'm going to take them in and put them in the refrigerator here. And then after church we may run to town. I don't know. We'll just have to see. And then we didn't get the strawberry bed done yesterday we had to get ready to go eat with justin's mom so we're gonna work on that today lots of lots of fun things but y'all it is so nice outside grab these eggs i had them in the refrigerator at home so i'm gonna take them and put them in the refrigerator here oh don't drop them don't drop them, Tiffany. I also wanted to say Happy Mother's Day. Did I say that? I don't think I said that. I mentioned it was Mother's Day, but Happy Mother's Day. dinner with mom tonight. I was going to make pasta salad, but I wanted a squash to go in it. I don't see any. We don't have none in the garden yet. Justin found the squash. Hopefully we won't have to be buying it for. We will have some in the garden soon. Yeah, hop out. I think we're finished. <laughs> Tell you what, one thing about these overalls, there is a pocket for everything. I'm like, hang on, I gotta, I gotta figure out what pocket I put it in. We are back home from church. And we're gonna go work on this strawberry bed. I'm gonna drive the truck over um, because I've got some manure and topsoil on the back of it. I can't remember if I've already told y'all this, but I went ahead and picked up some black cow. I've mentioned before that I like that. I was gonna just take some compost from our compost pile, but I knew I didn't have enough to fill that and put some on this garden and it's closer to this garden so i'm just going to use that here on our little garden right here and then i bought the black cow to put over oh it's <laughs> feeding the chicken to put over in the um strawberry bed I think Huddy wants to ride. Are you sure you want to ride with Audrey driving? Hang on, Huddy wants on. Huddy wants on. Oh. Which way am I going? However you want to go to get there. Oh, <laughs> uh, just circle around the chickens and you can go back by the fence. Just don't run into the fence. Or circle around and go back this way across the yard. Just Come ride with me. Come ride with me. You want to ride with me?
up in the mud all you want. That was a workout, y'all. But I don't mind. I don't mind. I enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoy it. I would rather be out here in the garden than in a gym. Uh, we planted this first set of pallets. Let me show you. We went ahead and did this first set. And next year we're going to come in and we're going to start some strawberries from seed next year and fill in. And I may go ahead and come in this year and put some marigolds in with these. Yeah, it would look beautiful and it would help out as far as keeping pests away. It would have probably been better to have those strawberries planted already, but you know, sometimes you do what you gotta do. I think they'll do good. We'll keep, keep them watered, keep a good check on them. Some of them are definitely needing to be put in the ground. They were looking a little, a little sad. So maybe they'll perk up and be happy now. I think I just saw some squash coming up in that squash patch too. That's exciting. You're welcome. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. I also got a bird feeder for Mother's Day. And I want to hang that up today. I was trying to decide where I wanted to put it. And I want to do my hummingbird feeders here on the porch. My list for the day keeps growing, doesn't it? We'll see what gets done. But... When we were um, Royal King last night, they had me pick out a bird feeder, and I'm excited to get it. If we can keep the squirrels out of it, <laughs> I'm excited to get it hung up. Justin made the pasta salad. So sweet. He was like, I know you'd rather be outside <laughs> doing things in the garden. You go do that, and I'll make the pasta salad. He knows me so well. Smells good. Looks good. Sir? Are you washing dishes? Do you lock your sink? You enjoy that, don't you? Is that your new favorite? Are you sit are you sitting up like a big boy? Is that your first time in the bumbo seat? Look at him. He's a big boy.
what you see on these plants. This white is diatomaceous earth. I sprinkled that on it. We had some pests that we were trying to get under control and so I used that to try to help with that. Now this does also harm bees and the, the good bugs. So I use this when I'm still picking the blooms off and not really trying to attract those pollinators. And then later on I'll swap to Nemo and use it because it shouldn't hurt the ladybugs or the bees. But I had a few little pests that I was trying to get rid of and I'm also trimming off the suckers that are coming up in the little V's of the plants trying to focus more on the main stalk and trimming some of the branches around the bottom just so that they can grow a little bit taller and a little less bushier. You can do this with your indeterminate plants and it, it will help them grow a little bit taller and make them a little bit more manageable later on. You'll also see that we're going to do a Florida weave for our tomatoes this year for a support. We're going to put in some T posts and then we are using some string to kind of weave back and forth in front of the plant behind and front behind and then come back the opposite direction. We're gonna use that as a support this year. It's the next morning and we're getting ready to go to the dentist. It was late when we put my bird feeder up last night and you couldn't really see. So I wanted to show that to you this morning real quick before we leave. Go get in. Go get in the car. Sissy will help you. Yes. Isn't it beautiful? And we have it hanging in this tree where I can see it out of the kitchen window. And it is just so pretty. Thank y'all for being a part of our Mother's Day weekend. I love each and every one of you and I appreciate you so much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.